Coming to you live from Los Santos, it's Gene Alcantara, and it's currently the 8th of March. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I've been getting a whole bunch of messages from my dude Vincent. You remember? That guy who uh, sort of kind of maybe needed our help here and there, trying to get back at the Duggins? Well, it turns out that now he's working for the police, and we need to give him a hand because he's looking to take down a drug cartel that's been unfortunately causing problems for both the police and the ruffians that are trying to spread illegal businesses around town. Let's get into it. Trying to see what this has to do with chicken, because frankly, I'm a little hungry, and I want to see what exactly is the big deal with the cartel, drugs, and Cluck and Bell for some reason. Yes, sir. Cases should be coming through. Money launderers on LSPD files with cash to appropriate. So, needless to say, we have to raise some capital if we want to take on the cartel again. Luckily, with the status quo being what it is, we still have no shortage of shady organizations you can persuade to donate. I am thoroughly ready for this. You know how often I retell the story the last time? Every morning to myself in the mirror. You are strong. You are worthy. We can wreck an entire cartel. That money laundering ish is for the birds. Don't bother doing that, people. That's how you get jammed up for life. Ow. Yeah, I'd rather just take the blow to my account and deal with it rather than having to scam my way into potentially getting five to ten years over a faulty check. I will be able to assist you with my LSPD privileges. Accessing their database and communications is a perk of the job. One that will prove useful throughout this venture, I'm certain. Sounds pretty good. Being able to have access to a wealth of things could make a... There be a stash of cash somewhere, just like the last time. But don't get overconfident. They might have tightened security since our last incursion. Oh, looky here. What up, pork chop? Oh, These people have like a building coincidentally in the same place that I do. And to think, a lot of these businesses function very close to each other. Ain't that so? Well, I'm gonna have to take their laundered money. I'm surprised I haven't hit this place up at some point earlier. All right, let me thumb through these fake bands. Yeah, at least the process is a lot faster this time. Okay, give me all the ish. Oh shoot, there's more. Not today, buddy. Mm. There we are. I have to go through the entire motion to open it. Trust me, it works. It's a process. Yeah, this is a raid. And these are some guns, but right now I better make an exit. Hey, I'm Whoa, gonna, I'm people, gonna, single yeah. file. Hold on. You raid one building, and then all of a sudden the entire group is after you. Man, this bites. Can't seem to find my other car, so I'll just take this one, though. I do like the paint job. I meant to do that. Oh. oh shit. Damn it, you're messing up the design of the ride. It looks great. We'll buff those out. Oh yeah, man, you saw that sick drift? My god. Hold on, let me get the grips to do man. Push into heavy firepower, because you know it'll overwhelm them. Very familiar places. I might consider scoping this place out as a potential battleground that I can expand my businesses in. More stuff to launder. I do love laundry day, especially when it's my own. Let's okay. consider this a forfeiture. Yeah, they totally lost it betting on Big Red, let's say. Except I'm Big Red. And I always collect. A little finicky sometimes trying to get yourself in position to grab the money, but oh well. 
It's a pretty good process. I wonder what if I bought myself a fake chain with this? Although I probably wouldn't need it though. The amount of income I'm making. Alright, let me get out of here. Excuse me. Yes. Damn it, get out of my way. Yeah. Mm. Get out that hood. There we are. Who's next? Nobody? Alright. That car. Let me heal out again. It's like in those 70s movies. Oh no. I think I got rid of them. That sounds like one heck of a time, buddy. Got it. Just glad we get to roll with you again. All right, where do I sign? Oh, through the doors? Well, okay then. Yes, I will. Okay, looks like that's one for the record books. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's uh, keeping track on some speed running type ish. After taking the time to dress appropriately, I think I am more than capable of handling the rest of these jobs. All right, let's start doing some more ish breaking and entering. Okay, looks like we're gonna uh, figure out what's exactly in that chicken that they make so well over there at Cluck and Bell. I do love me some food. If I found out something really bad about the food that paired, it would probably break my character's okay. heart. Sending some coordinates your way. I have received those coordinates. It looks like we're going one of two places. Okay. It looks like we're doing a bunch of twos this time around. Either the train or the terabyte. Why, thank you kindly. I hadn't dreamed of it. I mean, I'm just eager to do continued business and get an eye on the street when it comes to any potential police presence, but okay. Anything that makes me look good. Keep your eyes over the terabyte. I'm sending you the image I have on file. Okay, let's get the hacking device. Remember the guy with the terabyte? He deactivated the last one we stole, so we're gonna get another. Time to neutralize those drones. I heard this guy's been living out here on the DL. <laughs> Not easy in a truck stacked with so much tech. It has its own gravitational pull. Yeah, that's the uh, hmm. interesting choice. We got drones protecting this thing. I would have never imagined. Well, okay. But as long as I could lock onto them and like shoot them down, good thing I don't have to like manually aim. That would be hell for somebody playing on a controller. Some prefer keyboard and mouse, but you like what you like. And frankly, I think I need to fix my keyboard and mouse. Lately, it's been giving me a couple issues here and there. Better uh, open it up and take a look at a duster or something. Oh shit, I didn't know they could kamikaze me. That's not good. Y'all better stop. This suit is bullet resistant. Doesn't mean it's gonna block the pain though. Knock knock. Terabyte looks like mine, except it's messy. Don't mind if I do. I would take the gun, but I already have too much ammo. Literally a walking device. arsenal. Good. Now you should have no issue requisitioning a train. Or anything else for that matter. I'm gonna go get that ish. Can't go into the command room. Oh well. I gotta pay a tailor to get this fixed. Oh, this is inconvenient. Well, let me go get that laptop. There we go. Back in the van we go. Why do they always got to take the stairs? Gosh darn it. Okay. 
Well, time to go nab that chap. Convenient thief, where would I go? My spidey sense is telling me the guy with the defensive posture looking at sunglasses is probably onto something. Hey, there's a laptop somewhere nearby. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm, okay. Let's let Shorty distract him while I just nab this thing. Yoink! Yeah, get mad. Right. Yeah. Is the season, buddy? I mean, as usual. Obviously, we no longer have access to the train we use. Go follow time, me. So we'll need another one. Coordinates with you now. You better we'll not. Need to find the keys. <laughs> mm. I thought so. Yeah, I'll just leave him. Not really a big issue. Sure, you can hack or whatever, but you know, you guys tend to expose yourselves eventually. How oddly convenient. Great to know. I believe I'm getting close. Okay, here we are back in Elysian Island. Oh no, I got something for them. I'ma give them the special. LSPD, y'all better chill. Detective Alcantara is on the scene. That was a close one. I gotta get behind him, flank the other guy. They think I'm on the other side. Oh shit. That's not good. Let me go eat some snackies first. One of the good things I like as a quality of life update is that I can eat snacks on the way if I am taking damage. You should last a little bit longer now that you have like additional sources of health and such. Wish you could do the same thing as an auto heal for like your stuff, but uh, yeah, that has to be voluntary for video game balance purposes. Always a delight when stuff goes boom. You're not gonna take pot shots off of me like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that train. Hold on. Better come catch me then. Get down, get down. It's going fucking down. As long as I get like most of them, I should be able to have an unobstructed path to the train. Ow. Taking a lot of damage now. I better like not push it. Oh, it only took like seven years. I finally ride this train. Choo choo, mother truckers. Mm. Okay, so I can use a hacking device. As long as I press the button at the right time, I should be fine. Mm. There is a cooldown to it, of course. I can't just spam this willy nilly. I'll have to use it at very specific moments. I would assume it's going to be curated for the best experience, though, because, eh, I'm literally on rails like one of them shooters. Y'all ain't going to stop me now. Okay, going down under. Had to just in case. My gut is hungry. Even helis don't stand a chance. That was a marshal. 
That was a tough one to get rid of. Oh, hold up. There we are. Am I gonna get the better of me? Doing pretty darn good for myself. I'm trying to escape, hold up. Tossing this thing like a rag doll. I don't need to fight that. Out of my way, jerks. Getting near the aqueduct, I should be home free. Alright, and we hit pay dirt. That would be a very good idea. I think this would have made the news already. Talk about getting trained. Two thousand nine RP, very on the spot. All right, let's see what we got next. Hmm. Concealed weapon. <laughs> I was about to say concealed carry. Yo, chill. Get this on the road. Hmm. And it's grab weapons. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be uh, ripping and tearing and grabbing stuff that's not ours. OSP on site. All right, then. Stand by for your target locations. Where are those locations at? Mm, okay, I see. Oh, don't you worry. I will take from we'll have to. Okay, well, I see that a mission like this seems to have the makings of Kayo, so that's good. I guess I'll just take from these people right here, the Grande Marabunta. These people are uh, some small-time Brazilian gangsters that look like they want to make a making for themselves. So it looks like I am going to grab that ish right now and just ransack their crib for the necessary goods. I am so sorry, not really sorry, sorta of, kinda maybe sorry. Oh, don't worry. They'll be expecting me for sure. I'm gonna make sure that I leave my mark on them. Good, I want them to know it's me. Mm. I'm not. That's the plan, essentially. I didn't need to get all the stuff necessary. That's good to know. Anything that I take with me right now? Straight to lockup. I gotta grab the weapons and gear, though. Not sure where the gear is, but I know the weapons are over here. So that's good. I don't know if it's like a luck-based mission, if they'll give it to me or not. Death forever, bro. Well, that was that. Better nab this stuff now. Well, that's the ish. Okay, got the weapons. I don't think there's much of anything else here. Yeah, no, that's about it. Mm. Well, I mean, there's a vehicle here, so there's that, I guess. Might as well bring it over. More weapons for the weapon god. I better bring this stuff over peacefully to avoid stepping on any tail feathers. Though it would be nice if I can just bring this to him in one piece. At the home stretch, almost done with this mission. Let me just 
get over here neatly. Bring that over. Okay. Hmm. Alright, what are the weapon and gear locations? I think I'm somewhat finished with this mission, but let me just check my career progress to be sure because I want to make sure that I get all the collectibles for the stuff that I'm supposed to do. And seeing as how this mission in particular uh, inspires repeat playthroughs, I can also go to different places in order to get different types of gear from different enemies in order to customize the way I approach the last mission in this string of missions in particular because it's all part of one giant heist of sorts that allows me to, you know, do things the way I want it to. Maybe this might be something that'll be carry on into future games, who knows. Let's say hi to these clowns in the Max Payne boat. Saying hi with the chopper. No Tony. Why is it always in the back? Well, I think I'm in a great spot because I could just go to like the engine room and the thing is how I'm making progress is probably somewhere here in the engine room anyway. Oh shit. Getting close to dying, but not really quite. Going out of my way to avoid these people here. This is the way. Okay, I got the case. Let me get them gears and I should be good. I'll walk through this spot right here. Oh, Santos PD, put it down. They refuse every time. I wonder why. Well, let me yank this out of their hands. Okay, let me bring this back. These people are a little bit more ready than the Marabunta Grande, but we'll be fine. Yeah, I guess there's a very uh, exclusive policy when it comes to nabbing their stuff. So uh, I guess for people that are aspiring to probably do this mission at some point or another, you should uh, maybe think about uh, raiding one of them and just leaving it at that for subsequent missions. I am literally doing my nails and pulling my hair to make sure it's all straightened out for a date. Let me just bring this back all nice like and bat my eyelashes. Hold up, gotta get out the car. Apparently there's an issue where trying to deliver equipment just looks weird if I have a car already parked there. Hmm. I should probably just leave it at that. If I want to, I could probably hit up these uh, military affiliated private PMC people. Ex Merryweather troops that I sent packing after Operation Overthrow. The Los Santos Avengers did their job. You know, uh, they're the new PMC that uh, LS tends to hire when it comes to situations involving private security. So yeah, these Merryweather people, they're just kind of soldiers without a cause at this point. Let me uh, go grab their stuff and remove whatever is left of them at the moment. Wandering vagrants at this point. Yeah, you go, you go add that because we're going to use another bit of weaponry. Hmm, I'm still thinking whether or not it's a good idea to use the military weaponry. I mean, they are the most fully equipped. So it would be something that's a strong consideration for people that want to be absolutely sure that they are getting the best build for the raid that will eventually fall upon us. But, uh, yeah, this is just a what if to let you know how easy or hard it might be to take them down if you are interested in trying to do this with an assault rifle or some other type of weaponry that allows you to reach far distances 
using average means. Right now they seem to be giving me some type of trouble because they are all scattered around various parts of the desert and there is a buzzard that will occasionally be giving them help. But if you get rid of that buzzard and focus on trying to get rid of the enemies that are sheltered up over there in the hangar, they should be more or less easy pickings. Make sure to top off your health occasionally. I've had some close moments here where I'm reloading and they're still inside of me, which is not good because they can just like freaking spray you with a bunch of rounds and then just like end your run right there. If you're trying to do this like one of them people that never freaking get damaged or never freaking die. Uh, that's another thing you should consider doing by like adding to the health that you have. Make sure to always uh, go into that weapon reel, top off that health. I just grabbed some supplies at the moment. Grab the... Um, yeah, I got the gear. The weaponry should be somewhere inside the hangar. So make your way towards the hangar. Defeat any other uh, enemies that are uh, causing you trouble. If they are hiding behind the military Bradleys or the Jeeps or something like that, make sure to flank them. And just grab the stuff that you need and make yourself scarce. Yoink. Okay, I officially robbed everyone. Let's get the heck out of here. I could take the Jeep, but uh, I'm more interested in getting rid of the, uh, the heli that's giving them backup. This weaponized Tampa looks pretty good, so I'm going to use that right now. We can get out of here. It is a weaponized Tampa, so you can make uh, liberal use of the motorized Gatling gun that's on top of the weapon. If you want to relive your vigilante eight days, make sure to go crazy and boogie down. So one thing led to another, and it turns out that there's no additional gear that I can pick up at the Marabunta Grande. I thought that I did, but it looks like I don't have the means for that particular gear at the moment. So I'm just going to have to call it in and say that I'm going to go with a different loadout than I originally intended. At first I wanted to get both Marabunta Grande weapons and gear, but it looks like they are not currently available for me. I don't know if there's some other element of like random luck of the draw. So I am just going to go ahead and call Vincent right now to let him know that I want to get those things available at the moment. And that moment I shall because we are going to do the next ring of missions hit and run. We are going to go get something that will take us out of the Cluck and Bell warehouse in the event that stuff goes left. So it is very important to know that this is the type of mission that people will want to get when they want to get a getaway vehicle. Okay, possible getaway vehicles at these three locations. Now, normally I would really consider... Get a good look at these surveillance shots I'm sending through. These are the gangs on our radar. I should remind you, these groups are the same people you may have visited when sourcing your equipment. If you pay the same crew another visit, expect increased security that you get in touch with the wheel man of sorts but if you don't have access to any detective you might as well try to bite the bullet and get a vehicle that will combine well with your driving ability let's go nab one of them Okay, I'm there. Damn it. The procurement point. Well, they finna know about me when I'm... I'm gonna go get that ish out. Oh, hold on a second. Give me that ish. I am taking that conjo with me. Imagine their delight when they get another visit from you. Oh, they're gonna be absolutely thrilled to meet me again. Okay, I think I've done this before, but the thing is I kinda of forgot to like record it. So like 
Yeah, hopefully you guys will make do with the secondary mission of sorts. I might do a primary mission in an alt or something like that to preserve the feeling of doing the missions for the first time at some point in the future. I still have access to my alt account with Malice Pain. I'll probably do that later. Alright, I'm gonna have to leave through some other means. Let me see if there is an alternate way to get out of here. Okay, there is a ramp over here. Let me see if I can use it. Can I just like move around and like use the Suburban as like leverage? Can I just like turn past the Suburban and use the ramp? Yeah, come on big buddy! God fucking damn it! No! Oh, fudge. Okay, let me use the up anatomizer. Oh, right. I forgot. There was a balance patch to make sure that you can't use that during certain missions. Because it wouldn't mesh well with them. Can I rock it out of here? Fuck. So I lost access to that fake ass Civic, but I do have access to another means of a getaway vehicle that I could use. I am fucking absolutely doing a garbage job trying to maintain this vehicle. I should treat it better, because it has treated me nothing but like a saint. So yeah, let's go to that other area where we can find another vehicle to take. Here by the Oil and Humane Labs factory, nobody should find us here. Yeah, no, there's a cargo bob that's literally carrying a vehicle. You can literally game this in a certain way. Well, I have access to, like, research the means that allow me to use a uh, modified sniper rifle in order to do explosive damage with bullets in order to take down. The vehicle that I would need and the cargo bob will be destroyed in a neat and tidy way that won't damage the vehicle whatsoever. Let me get my effing vehicle in peace. Darn effing tootin'. If I can take down a barrage with minimal introduction, then I am absolutely golden with this ish. Let me just make sure that I can do this in one piece without dying horribly. Let me get in my fantasy jeep and make on my way. I don't want to effing mess up this opportunity. I want to take this vehicle straight to Vincent. Go into the garage. Gotta make it home, gosh darn it. I should be good, I shook them off. Okay, that sounds like it's gonna be a mission that's probably far beyond the scope that I have for now regarding my patience. So I'm just gonna bring the vehicles in gear that I find suitable back and just hope for the best at this point. Made it without being horribly maimed or killed. I guess that's a win in my book. Well, time to call Vincent and let him know that we have a getaway vehicle. Uh, yeah, boss, this is the one that I'm probably going to use. We're, we're good for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave the garage. Yeah, I could do that. Getaway car secured. Well done. Keep your head down on your way out. I'll give you a call soon. A sure thing. I'm just going to leave in my definitely not Impala and uh, make sure things are peachy keen for when we are ready to move out. Excellent. I've been investigating where the factory workers park, and fortunately for us, the garage seems to get completely ignored. Your getaway car will remain undisturbed until it's time for the raid. That's pretty good. Okay. I guess we have ride security there. Well, when the time comes, we better get going. Yeah, let me just get into my car to get the proper brief down.
guess I'm going to have to be as inconspicuous as I can be this time around. Here's how I'm going into the heart of the operation without trying to attack too much attention. Hopefully everything goes well. I am around the corner. Yeah, I gotta hack them in order to make sure that I know where exactly I'm gonna be busting in the door. I appreciate that hacking device you confiscated. Couldn't do this without it. Oh hell yeah, bro. Yeah, buddy. Come oh, on, man. Give me that ish. Get too blocky. As much as I'd like to get that, I would also like to hack this stuff so I can get into the garage. Not really gonna need the uniform, but I can just like secretly take care of certain people. I bet. Why? I didn't know it was so close to us. Okay, yeah, we can we can totally do that. Gotta ram raid these busters. Well, yeah, I mean, we kind of have to, like, codify the whole idea of divide and conquer. So I guess we'll divide them into very confused groups where I'm wondering, who are these people trying to attack us at the moment? And just conquer them. Because they're not going to know that the feds are working together in order to make this stuff work. So, yeah. LSPD doing the stuff that it needs to in a weird Black Ops sort of way. to do it in a very discreet way so yeah the more i can just knock down the better i better not be fucking getting security guards oh fuck how did i get them at the camera dude oh this bite Well, I got no choice now. Maybe I should have gotten that uniform that he mentioned earlier. Oh, uh, no use crying over spilled milk. All I know is that I gotta fade them before they fade me. Okay, it looks like I cleared them. Nice drill. For sure. Okay, I guess I better sabotage the trucks, but right now, let me see if I can just nab some of these security boxes. Drill them. Fuck. Okay, how about this one? Big money. Yes. Something. Alright, cool. How about this one? Hmm. There we are. Oh, come on. Hey. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I guess that's all of them. Better go get those trucks. This would have been useful earlier if I had a means to get here. But yeah, let me just get rid of whatever files are here at the moment. And everyone's dead, so it's not any skin on my bones. Yeah, all right. Let me get the rest of these trucks now. Ooh, come on, single file. What do I take? Gotta be something here. Hey, I saw that. Just popped in. That's odd. But okay, whatever. I'll allow it. Gotta grab one of these doohickeys and just pull it out. I mean, at least it's not a catalytic converter, right? <laughs> Those things are being taken at an alarming rate lately. 
That's got to suck. So yeah, keep an eye on your stuff, people. If you own trucks, the slightest thing can send it crashing down. Just be aware of maintenance. I need a key card. Oh my. Well, I guess I better go hit up the deposit boxes that I opened up earlier to see if I have it in there. So I ended up finding the keys. It was actually in a place nearby the deposit boxes that I kind of ignored earlier. I just have to double back for them. You know what we need? Crates to hide in. Find whatever's transporting them and bring them to the lockup. Uh, yeah, there should be a truck here that has a bunch of crates that I could presumably hide myself in. So that way nobody would think twice and I'd be able to easily smuggle myself in there. But yeah, I guess I better bring that to the lockup as well. Just wire this doohickey. Okay, everything's working. I'm on my way. Okay, no pressure. I'm going way too fast. I gotta make a decent turn. Fuck. Alright, well, I got most of it done. Yep, it's a smooth ride to the finish line here. Everything should be more or less accounted for. All we have to do now is just take a trip to the warehouse and see how things go down. Well done out there. When your train arrives at the factory, the cartel will assume it's a delivery instead of a full-scale seizure of their assets. Going for a very stealthy approach, they won't know what hit them. Scene of the crime, this one's for all the marbles. We are going to break into the warehouse and finally take down this cartel for good. As far as I know regarding the type of DLC that these games tend to have. But just like roll with it for the moment. So yeah, we are finally taking these guys down for good. So yeah, let's get this on. Special delivery, mother trucker. All right, now I'm fully kitted out. I'm gonna try to make this as quiet as I can. It's an ace as hard as I were. To punch fatal holes in the hull of this operation, we need to leave with two things, their product and their cash. To clarify, steal it all. I'm gonna do as much as I can to take all that. Don't forget the extra equipment you sourced if you feel something else will be more effective. I've bribed some friends in the Department of Sanitation to leave it in the dumpster to the rear of the factory. Okay, I'm gonna go look into that a little bit later. Let me take these people out. Gotta go to a storage area, but first I'm gonna take out all the targets that are nearby. And then, I'm gonna take down this gate right here. So I can have access to the alternate weaponry. Real nice. Okay, now that I can like use my normal voice, I don't think they can hear me. They are literally donezo. So yeah, all the alternate weapons that I would need are just going to be right over here. So yeah, I'm going to just take down. Looks like there's another target nearby. I'm going to lower my voice again. That way they can't hear us. Oh wait, no, it's just a gate. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, but there's more targets there. Alright, let me be quiet. Go into it. And evade these people because it looks like they're oh fuck. For a second there, I thought they saw me. Alright. I think that these people now. Yep. Mm. Like taking candy from a baby. Except the baby was not looking at me in the first place. Oh, fuck. Doing it real quiet, like. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going right now to make sure that uh, I'm, I'm on my tippy toes. 
Okay, so there's a storage area nearby. I'm just gonna just open that up. Be very quiet. The key card you acquired should grant you access to restricted areas in the factory, including the basement. Oh fuck! It's For a second there, I thought he got laid out. As a chicken factory, one would assume they'd have more cock and bell staff to keep up appearances, but I underestimated just how bold criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. That machine gun would have been too loud, but I'm gonna just take the keys right now. Those office keys. I'm guessing that would have been something that'll give people problems back in the day, but like right now, since I was able to like take that down and take down those people, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. Still making my way around the office. Had to reload because it had to be tactical like that. Okay. It looks like there's some more people over here in the corner. I'm just gonna like slice them by. Alright, they're right over there. Bob's your uncle. Now there's some more people here. I better make sure that he doesn't discover the body. Okay, doing great. Is that all of them? Oh, sweet. Brother, I think I fucking cleared this shit. Holy. I have free reign to do what I want now. Good lord. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that would have caused some new player, new to the heist or something, anxiety. But it looks like I managed to get it done again. So, yeah. I barely have memories of, like, doing it the first time around there. That's weird. So, yeah, let me just put in my key card. And uh, enter this one area. Mm, who knows? There might be enemies here. Uh, we just gotta nab some more product that they have hidden. Just gonna assume stealth mode again. Do not I see some march. Area without a considerable amount of, if you know what. Okay. All right. Where where's this stuff? Hey, give me that shit. They have the little logo for facade. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for the way that people allegedly traffic drugs nowadays. So, yeah. They might have it disguised as something else, but, you know, that, that that's kind of like the nature of the game. Not that I would know, but, um, yeah. Be very, very careful taking things. Because, you know, people could die from that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, you have the chance to just say no to drugs. It's just, it's a huge headache. You don't want that. It's not good for you. Mentally or physically. But for the purposes of this game, I'm just trying to gather evidence. Yeah, let's go with that one. For the LSPD, so doing a top secret undercover mission for them taking down a cartel. And that's what I'm doing for the purposes of this game. So, yeah. Looks like I nabbed all the product in this room. I'm going to go upstairs now and try to go to the other rooms for that sort of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's another storage area where they might have some tings. Need another key card. Enter. There you go. I got the stuff. And now we can go in. Let me just open up this garage door. Somehow they didn't hear me do that. And now I'm going to be quiet. Talking with themselves, that's good. Yeah, okay, I gotta figure out how to get rid of these overlapping signs. I'll go for this one. And then I'll take over the other one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I cleared another room. Okay. Now we should be fully operational. Being able to have free reign and just talking and stuff. Because, um, yeah. No rest for the wicked, and I am devious enough to get rid of all the opposition before doing stuff. So that's what was in the chicken. Oh, man, that's messed up. Fudge. And here I thought it was just really good chicken for my character. 
fudge. I guess my character as a will just took a slight hit. Wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm emptying that stuff out completely. There's a safe somewhere here near an office. Okay, let me just assume the sneaking form just in case I gotta take some extra people down. I don't think there's extra people down. I think, I believe I cleared the entire building. Just checking. Want to reiterate to people that might be thinking, well, is it possible to clear it solo? Yes, you can clear it solo. I have the office keys, so I'm able to get in without relatively much of a hassle. There's the computer. The computer to initialize the hack. Hacking. <laughs> Trying to assume control. Okay, I've gotten in. It's safe to assume you didn't read the manual for the hacking device you picked up, correct? Yeah. Well, I did, and it's simple. Just find the strongest signal, and it should jump on the connection. If you're seeing blue, keep going in that direction. Red, you're off course. There could be multiple points, so keep walking till you found them. Okay, I guess I would just need to follow the signal until it's strongest enough, and I would have access to the code. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I still gotta keep going. Alright, I think I found the code. Alright, there's more than one. Sounds good, where would it be? Alright, let's keep following this. I hear it going off, so I think I'm in the right direction. Mm hmm. No, what about over here? Oh! Nothing, what the fudge? Oh, mmm. Shoot, come on. I think, I'm, I think I'm nearby. What the fudge? This should be good. Mm, here? Ah, okay. Number two and three, and where's the third? Nah, the signal's getting weaker. I better go back. Just check if there's some hidden computers there. Nope. Getting closer, warmer, warmer. What? I thought I had it. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got okay, I got the code. Have you received the safe code. I think I do. I don't know where it is, though. Hold up. Let me open this. What's the code? Oh, oh right. I better check um, the thingy. Safe Give me one second. It's on the device. Right, 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 right. Okay, yeah. That's the code right there. So let me just put that in. Just a reminder, it's going to be completely different for anybody that's attempting the heist in different types of replays. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, time to make like a banana peel and split. Hopefully at this point I have free reign to just get the fuck out. Because this is bad for me if I end up staying here. It is. Well, oh, that's a good thing, I guess. Fudge. Oh. Stay away from me. Get away from me, I am cutting a swath through you guys. I'm trying to get to my van, fuck y'all. Okay, there's my van, let's get out of here. Entrando al jipeta. To freedom. Okay, all I gotta do is make it a one shot.
on it, boss. Give me a couple seconds. Yeah, man, I think I'll need a palate cleanser after all the stuff that we've been through. I could probably go for a salad, too. Maybe lose a little bit more weight. The good old middleman gentleman's agreement. An old staple. Quite apart from this being a matter of principle, our whole operation has livened up my day to day considerably. Makes a pleasant change from people holding up 24 7 stores. Yeah, that sounds great, man. A good change of pace. Here's your stuff, my guy. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. Now to the vital matter of payment. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there are certain transactions I can't be party to as an officer of the law. But if I've learned anything from my consociates on the LSPD, it's how to look the other way. Absolutely. You didn't see anything. I wasn't here. This never happened. You never gave me this money. Thank you kindly. Now remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. Good. As you can see from my choice of transportation, my fortunes at the LSPD are also improving. Just got these babies in. Fresh off the line. <laughs> Guess who picked one up? <laughs> that guy. Until next time, let's disassociate. I don't know you. You don't know me. We just passers by. That's what's up, half a mil. Right there. If you're looking for something that could take you maybe an hour, it looks like a this is a pretty good job to do. I'm not gonna lie, this might be a good substitute for people that are tired of running Perico and having to deal with very specific waves of people coming at you and such. Copy. It looks like this is the type of heist that you can repeat doing like I've said various times at this point before. So yeah, just wait until you can once again do it with a couple friends or something like that so you can get all of the particular objectives down to make the maximum amount of rewards that you can do and complete all the tiers of the progress bar. Because currently you can do it one of two different ways and get access to very exclusive apparel that you can get along with specialties for vehicles that you can buy off the websites that the game allows you. Looks like there's uh, one of two ways that you can do approaches for. Um, apparently I did it without being spotted which is kind of weird because mm, I mean I thought I was like Part of the way done, didn't really see any other issue other than like that one time police were like coming after me along with like gangsters. So I guess uh, during that last part when you're making the escape, you have to make sure not to be found in that either or else it will glitch out and say that you got caught. So yeah, there's that. Well, other than that, I guess I am going to have a well-deserved vacation at this point. Don't do the crime if you can't face the cripplingly brutal consequences of it and make sure to always follow the law to the best of your ability. Stay safe, y'all. Be careful out there and have yourselves some well-deserved fun tonight.